guys, welcome back. We are learning uh, Mike's parts to leash because I omitted these for some strange reason all those years back, but we're doing them now. Tuning, you are going to need to drop your E down to D. So that's going to go down like this. So it matches your fourth string, right? So tune to that pitch. Two frets down effectively, or one step. Tone wise, I'm using the 91 for D. I'd probably additionally use a boost pedal for the solo, but you know. You got plenty of gain there. You're also going to need a wah pedal. I'm using the jam pedals wacko. <laughs> So, you know, pick your favourite distortion and a wah pedal, essentially, and you're there. First riff then goes like this. Like that. So you basically have got a one-fingered power chord. Without the gain. So it's down, up up, down, and there you're going to play, you do a little hammer on and a pull off on the uh, low string, right, between the ninth and 10th fret. Up, down, 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 up at the end. So that whole bit slowly. One more time. Then you're into these unison bends. I'm taking the position from the B string. So 10th fret to 12th. 5th fret to 7th. I thought initially it was playing... You know, he's sticking on the 7th fret. And then bending. But live, he does play... So I'm going to assume he did that on the album as well. So that whole thing goes... 3, 4... Like that. So you play that around four times. Uh, and then you're going to go into this little fill. I think it's a bar of three, four. And you play. Again, clean. That's the 12th fret. Okay. So three on the 12th. Then this. Ascending chromatic run. 10, 11, 12. Then you're going to get your... Second finger over the top there to play the 12th fret on the next string down. And then you're into the next part, okay? So that transition would be... Now, if you're thinking of playing this uh, live in a cover band or whatever and trying to get it as authentic as possible, that's the point that you take the wire off, okay? So click off the wire here. So again, for context, you would have... Okay, so I turned it off on that part. So it should help you seamlessly uh, change between the, the, uh, the effect there. Now we're on the 10th fret, and you're going to bank your first finger there for the whole of this, uh, this part. But your third finger and your little finger are going to get involved, right? And you're basically mimicking what Stone does. Stone is playing much bigger chords because he's in open D. But Mike just can chill out because he's just got one string to D tune. So he's playing. That's it. And you just play that round and round. Subtle difference in the phrasing. So there's kind of two parts to this. We have the first part. That's the first part. Let me play that clean and slowly. We have. That's the first bar, right? So down, down. Then you put your third finger down on the 12th fret there on the D string and you play down, up, down. And then you take it off. So again. 
and then up down little finger on the 13th fret so one two three again slowly now that hangs over into the next half of this phrase and it's going to change ever so slightly because you hang on the 12th fret there for one extra 16th note so first part notice the difference so we're going rather than really subtle difference but it's there so for the second part obviously it carries over so we have you know so it's up up down down up down up up down and again which is the same as the part before so with the gain The first time round, you play that four times, okay? Uh, and then coming out of it, there's a very subtle difference. So you're just going to play for the last time. You just hang there. And then back in two. And you go back around that for the next verse, okay? Once you've done that verse again, you play around the chorus part again. And you keep playing that for six times this time. Now, I think Stone plays it eight times, but you'll hear like another guitar part coming in. Um, so I don't know, maybe there's three guitar parts going on here, but you'll start to hear this very quietly. You'll hear that, right? So that plays around twice, and you're just picking out the melody in that. Like that, okay? So you do that twice. Watch out for the phrasing there. Then it starts to move about a bit and it moves up to the 15th fret then. So we have... So that's the next two phrases again. Same rhythm as before. Then we move up a little bit more. So that part. Little slide there. Next part it branches off a little bit, so it gets quite hard to hear, but it's basically. Something along those lines, right? And you'll hear that. Back into that riff, right? So that last part, slowly, would be. That's straightforward enough. Then we're going to do this. So it's a series of 16th notes. And some slides. And then we go. And then. So again, one more time. So it doesn't matter.
matter too much, but for that last bar, just try and play. Little pull off at the end there. So you have four. So bank your first finger, hammer on 15 to seven. And with the upstroke, you catch the 15th fret. Just down, up, down, up, down, up in terms of picking. Then we are into this part, same as the intro, just up one fret. So we're going 11, 13, 6, 8 this time. And then we're into the solo. Let me try and play the whole thing through for you so you can hear it, and then we'll break it down. So we have... So we start with a country bend, 19th fret on the G gets bent up a full step while you're holding the 20th fret there, right? So you do three first, then you start picking. You start picking the 20th fret and going back to the, uh, the double stop, right? Then this phrase. All pentatonic stuff, right? So it's a bend, release, pull off. With the 20th fret, right? Then. Little rundown. That hangs over into the next bar. Really cool, isn't it? Very uh, bluesy, isn't it? So you bend up the 19th fret full, flatten your first finger on the 17th fret there, right? There I flatten my first finger as soon as I go for the bend. See my first finger goes flat there. Twentieth fret full bend, and then return it to uh, whence it came, and then we have this. And then you do another phrase, right? So let's try those two bars first. So. Same thing, isn't it, right? Yeah. You know, it's just a really nice sort of, you know, long running pentatonic lick, basically. Just play that slowly, right? Because um, I'm not going to go through all the notes. So we start with. And then for the last bit. So that is. Really nice phrase, isn't it? And then you're going to go slide down from the 19th to the 7th. 
with your third finger because then you're going to play. For that ending part, right? So again. That last part is just. You want that to ring out into each other, right? And that is it, folks. You are done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you soon.